In this video I'm going to take a little break from making the valve here and have a look at these um, drive cranks which attach to each end of the crankshaft and each end of the front axle. So we'll just take a quick look at some photographs. So the proportions of the drive cranks on the full size engine look slightly different to the drawing. There's a round boss portion here which uh, looks thinner on the full size engine with respect to the extended leg of the crank. So I'm just going to make this boss a little bit thinner. So I found some rectangular material we can use. So that should be fine. Fires on. Winter nights are really cutting in. Not quite.
Perfect. Perfect. So if we uh, rest the vernier against the jaw, let's keep it square to get a dimension. So we're looking for 8 millimeters. 8 point, oh wow. Well. Yeah. That's not 8.01. I think we'll settle for that. I think that's two and a half to come off. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Couldn't ask for better. Try it on the other axle. Slightly tighter, but perfect. I think I may be getting good at this. Okay, so this is the setup. Got a uh, piece of bar the size of the uh, bore of the uh, web, which just fits nicely. Got the same in the collet. So all I'm doing is fit that onto the collet onto there. Bring the collet up, or the table up, I should say. So I just touching, and then draw this down, and I've just moved the table backwards and forwards, the X and Y until that just fits over. Set my digital read out to zero. We want to go off in the uh, X direction 32.5. Okay so we just need to make sure this is deburred and push it up against the vise. So when it goes back in later, it's in the same position. Okay, we had a bit of uh, an unfortunate accident with this one. Uh, I smashed the center drill in there. So we'll have to drill it from the other side. Oh, I've lost my reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, a parallel on there and a parallel in front. Push these two together, push that together and I could do with another hand. Put the screw in. Right, I need to mark that one. Okay, we just need to support this end a little bit.
Okay, we'll uh, drill three millimeters, and that should push that broken center drill out. A little bit of a crunch. I think we'll leave it at that, and we'll finish it off by hand. We better check that drill's okay. Looks okay. Looks a bit wobbly. I think we'll change the drill. This is the one that's got the broken side drill in. So I'm thinking I want to see if I can punch that out. It's not going to be punch any good, but well, that one won't fit. I'll grind that one up. Okay, that's done it. Now we've got to get the punch out. Okay then, so I've actually put them uh, back in the milling machine and I've opened this hole out from 3 16ths to 7 32ths. The reason being is that uh, on the side of the web there's the uh, bearing block uh, on the connecting rod which bears up against this face. And I did say that I was going to paint these. So what I've done is I've made a little bush to fit into there. So now I've got a bearing surface raised up from the side of the web, which is much better. And I've also got a, an edge to work up to for the paint. And I can just keep that face unpainted. So I'll just lock tight that in later on. Just look at that fit. Oh, you just love it. So for the moment I'm going to put it in the other way. And I'm going to use it to help me mark out the profile and cut away excess material before it goes into CNC for profile money. And we'll give that a bit of, I just want to say blowing but it'll be redding. Okay, I'm just going to take that to the bandsaw and just cut away the excess material. It'll save a little bit of milling.
Okay, we're going to look at these little drive pins, which are a quarter of an inch diameter. On the drawing it shows it um, as pressed into this uh, leg of the crank and uh, threaded on the end to take a nut. However, going back to the photographs and looking at the real engine, or a full size engine, the outside of the uh, pin has actually got a flange on and there's a nut on the inside of the pin holding it in position. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, on the other side of this I put a, a small um, spot face and on another I made a corresponding raised face so that gives me an edge to paint up to 
and then if I've got to take the nut off and on hopefully it's not uh, disturb the paintwork so the pin goes in and the nut goes on hopefully without dropping it Right, we'll have a look and see what these look like on the engine. Yeah, I like it. Looking good. There's not much clearance behind there between the nut and the frame. Clearance is clearance though. 